How to prevent paint sagging is one of the questions that every body shop professional has considered at some point. This video shows all aspects to consider to correct this defect. Sagging, also known as paint runs, occurs mainly on vertically orientated parts such as doors, flaps or bumpers and can occur in both the intermediate coats and in finished paint. The form in which they appear on the surface is as paint runoff, generally caused by an excessive amount of product. This excess paint tends to drip downward due to the effect of gravity when applied to a vertical surface, resulting in paint sagging. Let us now look at what causes sagging and its possible solution. Low viscosity in the paint mixture can cause sagging. To prevent this, add thinner to the paint mixture according to the specifications provided in the technical data sheet, maintaining a mixture of viscosity that is in accordance with the temperature and humidity. As pointed out, too much paint per coat will influence the appearance of sags. It is advisable to apply even and uniform coats, trying not to overload the part on every layer. Incorrect adjustment of the coating equipment, either due to low pressure or excessive product flow, can lead to sagging on the surface. In addition, it is advisable not to apply the paint too close to the surface. An appropriate distance must be kept between the spray gun and the support for an even distribution of the paint. For the paint to adhere correctly to the surface and not to sag, respect the waiting time between layers established in the technical data sheet of the product, always taking into account the environmental conditions. The use of heavy or slow solvents in low temperature environments may increase the chances of sagging appearing on the repaired part. This is why it is important to choose a solvent that suits the type and context of repair. Once the paint has dried, assess the extent of the sagging. If the sagging cause is not very severe, use a polished steel blade or diamond to reduce the relief of the defect. Roughing must be done lengthways so as not to damage the paint coat. You can also assess the surface sanding using a sander and a P1200 or P1500 abrasive disc to start with, increasing the grit as required. Then we will smoothen the surface with a P3000 sandpaper removing any previously generated sanding marks. Once the surface defect has been removed, polish the part with an abrasive polish and then apply another gloss polisher. On the other hand, sometimes small occluded air bubbles may have been generated in the internal part of the sagging, affecting lower coats of the paint layer. In these cases, the only solution will be to repeat the repair, sanding the affected area in order to prepare the intermediate coat and apply the finishing paint. By following these steps, the appearance of paint or clear coat sagging will be prevented.